What's up, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the GR2 and the GR3. This is a highly requested video from maybe you and a lot of the Pack Hacker audience, so let's jump in and just get into a quick comparison of these two packs. Let's check it out. So the GR2 is special to me personally. I traveled the world with it for about a year and a half and just basically lived out of it. The GR3 I've tested for a couple months now in a couple different settings. So I think I have a pretty good idea as to what's going on between these two packs. So the overall look of them is fairly similar. On the outside you can see they look, you know, we've got the four rows of Molly, we've got the slash pockets up here. Uh, the GR3 is a little bit wider, for sure, and there's a couple things in the exterior that's different on the GR3 than with the GR2. So with the GR3, we do have these kind of handles here on the outside of the pack, so I know that was a requested feature by a lot of people after the GR2. So you have one on the side here, one on the top, and then you've got another one on the side here again. In addition to that, we have the compression straps on the GR3. And these things work generally pretty well. But on the GR2, we don't have any of that. However, on the GR2, we have Molly on the side here. So if you wanna put a hip belt, which I'll show you in a second, or if you wanna put like a water bottle pocket, that's definitely gonna work here as well. On the bottom here, we also have this thick Molly going on. So that's gonna be for GORUCK tough bag. However, on the bottom of the GR2, instead of having that 1000D Cordura, there's a different weave of nylon going on here. Overall, the harness systems here are pretty similar. There's just a couple key differences. So there's a sternum strap here that could easily be interchanged between either of these packs. It's kind of just an add-on. I think GORUCK sells it on their site. However, what's really big here with the GR3 is the integrated hip belt at the bottom here. So you can slide in that massive hip belt at the bottom and it's gonna be integrated with the pack. However, with this, you're gonna to have to attach a hip belt to the side with the Molly here. The nice thing about the Molly on the side is that there is some variability in the height in which you're gonna be able to attach that hip belt to or any other Molly accessories. So moving on to the GR3's hip belt, it kinda of looks like a wrestler's belt with this buckle going on here. It's a lot fatter. It's gonna distribute the weight a lot more. And then on the GR2's hip belt, you can see here that it has a similar Duraflex buckle. However, it's attached by Molly on the side, so it's not quite as integrated into the pack. It won't distribute as much weight as you get with the GR3. All right, let's move on to the interior of these packs. With the GR2, we have two compartments, and in this one, we've got just one massive bucket. So if I pull off the compression straps and unzip it, it's actually gonna open right up into a massive compartment. And the same thing with the GR2, let's just open that up. This is the main compartment. There's two compartments with the GR2. Moving on to the interior, on the GR2, there is a pocket here, and then four rows of Molly by six across. On the GR3, you have Velcro on the entire backing. So that's gonna be good to kind of secure, whether it's, you know, Velcro packing cubes, or you wanna put some patches on there, or you know anything else that's Velcro, it's gonna secure very nicely in there. And because this compartment on the GR3 is so big, you can stack up packing cubes kind of on top of each other. So you can have two rows. So the Velcro really helps everything kind of stay in place. Two rows of Molly here just to attach any other accessories. And then we have a metal D-ring at the top as well. And onto the frame sheets. Overall, these are both pretty sturdy because inside of the GR2, we have the Kydex mod. So it's a completely kind of thicker frame sheet as aftermarket. However, in the GR3, the frame sheet that comes with this thing is super beefy right off the bat. So I actually was talking with Scott over at Ruck Customs. He kind of does these custom Kydex frame sheets. And at this point in time, he doesn't even know what he's gonna do to try to improve the GR3 frame sheet. He thinks it's just super beefy already. But again, the GR2 is gonna have a little bit more of a flimsy stock frame sheet than the GR3. Okay, moving on, we have one giant compartment going on here. So you can kind of tell the pockets apart with some different colored paracord going on here. We have two mesh pockets at the bottom and then one larger kind of nylon enclosed pocket at the top. 
Moving on to the GR2, we have a similarly sized mesh pocket at the top here, and then a larger mesh pocket at the bottom. So now let's get into the other pocket of the GR2. So similarly here, we have this nylon pocket at the top, and then a similar larger mesh pocket at the bottom. Again, they use different zipper pulls based on the compartment that you're in. If you flip this over, same, a long mesh pocket, and then you've got this kind of field pouch, admin pouch at the top here. So this is separated by two little partitions and definitely a lot more organization inside of the GR2. That right there is the main difference between these two packs. With the GR3, you kind of have a giant bucket with three interior pockets to organize your stuff and then a slash pocket on the outside. So if you're like a packing cubes person, maximum legal carry on, you want the biggest possible bag you can get, the GR3 is gonna be very easy to organize for you. The GR2 on the other hand has a lot more interior organization and again, it's a little bit less in size. So you can still use packing cubes in here but if you're the type of person that likes a little more interior organization, there's definitely a lot going on here with the GR2. Now keep in mind with both of these bags, a lot of these mesh pockets aren't necessarily 3D pockets, they're a little bit flatter and generally the best for flatter items, although you will have a little bit more room on these bigger pockets on the GR2. So that wraps up our quick comparison of the GR2 and the GR3. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Be sure to hit us in the comments if you have additional questions and we will do our best to answer. Thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you in the next one. It's gonna be like GR2, GR3, GR2, GR3. <laughs> Just get those out of the way.